So beloved brothers and sisters, I have asked that we all come together once again because as a people, as a species, as a humanity on this planet, we are currently on a path that has led us all to the threshold of extremely perilous times. Astronomical, astrological, and astrosophic events occurring over the past few weeks, what we metaphysicians refer to as planetary predictors, indicate that we are about to experience nature-based catastrophes that will dwarf what took place in Indonesia. Catastrophes that are due to hit the Middle East, China, Japan, Canada, Spain, Italy, Germany, Finland, the Balkans, California, Mexico, Midwest USA, Antarctica, Australia, and the southern and west coast, southern and western coasts of Africa, Boston, and New York. We will do a more in-depth overview of what took place in Indonesia and what the surface features of the world may look like in the second half of our presentation. That said, I would like to turn your attention, if I may, to a present and most immediate danger to us all particularly to the young and the innocent, our children, and the effects that will be felt by our children's children seven generations removed. What this government has in store for the black and brown peoples living in urban environments over the next 10 to 25 years. Brothers and sisters, there are a mere seven years left between us and the end of cosmic time. Our ancestors set the alarm in their codified pictographs. They told us that the alarm goes off December 21st, 2012. In reality, beloved brothers and sisters, it won't be as bad as we think it is uh, for those who maintain the energy and the attention on the frequency. And I probably will come out again uh, for the brothers and do a whole thing as we approach 2012. I'm going to do a thing on that, on the Hopi prophecies. But these next seven years constitutes a most trying and wickedly laborious time for us as a species of evolutionary consciousness. It is the time when the parasite will have to reveal himself, his true nature, his true motives, what he has in store for us, those he refers to as the useless eaters. He will reveal himself fully in the aftermath of a colossal, chaotic, nuclear biological event that will take place on or near the continental United States of America. But that too is another presentation. Today's program will focus on the newest, most sophisticated system of state-sanctioned bondage, slavery, and feudal servitude ever planned for us and is presently being implemented by most of the governments of our planet under the watchful eye and direction of the notorious black pope, Count Hans Peter von Kopenbach. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, five years ago, circa 2000 in Atlanta, at the rebirth of the Gathering of the Masters, I gave a presentation called Nanogenetic Mind Control and the Future Map of the World After the Shift. In the nanogenetic portion of my presentation, I spoke on how the ruling powers were set to debilitate, depress, or destroy the development and expression of higher consciousness by manipulating the genetics of Earth's food supply, and as a result, eventually crippling the average human's intellectual capacity to recognize, define, and solve their own problems. These merchants of ignorance who uses their disciplines of science to manipulate the basic elementals of the fire, the air, the water, and the earth as weapons targeting consciousness at the genetic, molecular, atomic levels of human activity. I said that this attack would be so subtle, so insidious, that the general population would not notice that it was being dumbed down, being psychologically sedated, and intellectually and psychologically incapacitated. I said that only awakened few functioning on higher frequencies of awareness would notice the sudden but subtle quantum drop in the collective IQ of the population. That they would notice the hair trigger agitation of our children. These perversely mutated sexual behaviors that you will be seeing. The almost blank, oblivious, vacant, happy faces with almost no memory or care for the history of our people, recent or extended. The general apathy of children tied to video monitors, 
the insane actions of almost gleeful participation in oblivious stupidity. That the levels of our music expression and sophistication would decline into obscurity as hip hop became colonized by the superficial. That black music as the global icon of creative 360 degree expression would drop to nothing more than six degrees of pathological separation. Six to the master, six to the slave, six to our culture down a North American grave. On that day in Atlanta, I also made a predictive reference to the Indonesian tsunami. I call it a Sunni. During my report on the earth changes, in later presentations after updating my research, I revealed in one of the Codebreaker series something called the Secret Covenant, extrapolated from an article that originally appeared on a website called www.bankindex.com, June 21st, 2002. This diabolical document enumerated the criminal intent of the parasitic elite to crop and control the population by systematically poisoning us by degrees, crippling our physical and psychological health and well-being. I will read a few of the points, though every time I do, I confess to feeling an overt sense of disgust and revulsion. This, brothers and sisters, is something called the secret covenant. And I want you to listen carefully. An illusion it will be so loud, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience, for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together, and we will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespans short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, and sedatives in food and water, and also in the air. We will be blanketed. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from our many fronts, yet we will feed them even more poisons. The poisons will be absorbed through their skins and mouths. They will destroy their minds and their reproductive systems. From all this, their children will be born dead in the head as well as in the body. And we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, in what they drink, in what they eat, what they breathe, and what they wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poison, for they can see far. We will teach them that the poisons are good with fun images and musical tones. They will look up to those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used in film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effects. They will, they, when they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them that it's for their help. When we will start early on when the minds are young, we will target their children with what the children love most, sweet things. When the teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their mind and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will create.